these pesky crows have driven me crazy. We need to find a way to keep the crows from ruining my precious farm. Let's start with fencing the boundary of the farm. Hmm. It is given that the length of the farm is 24 meters and the breadth is 36 meters. But to be sure about it, we need to check the actual measurements. To do that, we need to find the longest stick that can be used for measuring both the length and the breadth. Sticks that can be used to measure the two lengths will have to be factors of both 24 and 36. Let's list out the factors of the two numbers. We can see that the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 12 are factors which are common to both 24 and 36. Such factors which are common in a given set of numbers are known as common factors of the given numbers. We can also see that 12 is the greatest number that is a factor of both 24 and 36. So, the 12 meter stick is the longest stick which we can use to measure both the length and the breadth of the farm. The largest common factor of the given number is called the highest common factor or HCF. HCF is also known as the greatest common divisor or GCD. We can also say that HCF is the largest number which can divide the given numbers, leaving no remainder. The HCF can be used to split things into smaller sections of the largest size or to arrange something into rows or groups of largest size. Hmm, now let's start putting up the fence. I had a collection of fence pipes that I bought. There are 240 blue ones and 360 yellow ones. Is there a way we can organize them into smaller groups of largest size where they are kept evenly? The HCF will help us. For such large numbers, listing out all the factors sounds like a task. Don't worry, we have an easy way to find the HCF. The HCF of two numbers can be calculated using prime factorization. Prime factorization is a method of expressing a number into all of its prime factors. The steps for that are Step 1. Let us write prime factors of given numbers. Step 2. Now we can select all common factors. Step 3. And then we multiply all common factors and voila! We will get our HCF. The HCF of these two numbers is 120. So, we can group all the colored fence pieces. Let's just put them up together. Now, let's coat our fences with glitter to dazzle the crows. You might think it's a desperate move, but I'm not taking any chances. I have two cans, one with four liters of glitter and another with seven liters of glitter. What is the biggest container I can use to measure the glitter from each can? without leaving any leftover glitter. First, we list the prime factors of the given numbers. These numbers have no common factors except one. Such numbers whose HCF is one are known as co-prime numbers. So we can use a one liter container to measure out quantities from the four and the seven liter cans of glitter. And now finally, we need to make some scarecrows for the farm. I have three pieces of fabric of 8, 5 and 21 meters respectively. These have to be cut into the same length of pieces of maximum size. Find the size of the cloth in which they should be cut. The maximum length of each piece would be the HCF of the given lengths. Let's find out. 8, 5, 21 are co-prime numbers. So the HCF will be 1. So the maximum length for each piece of fabric will be 1 meter. Now that we have all our precautions ready, we can be sure that the crows don't spoil any. Ha! How did this get here? I need to go find new ways to keep these crows away. 
you keep an eye out for HCFs and Cro I mean co-primes. And remember, we stay curious.